Big After fingers. I get my way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I will go to my grave saying that weddings are the ultimate pageant. Mr. Michael can kiss Miss Lori's. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 craziest say yes to the dress moments. It's funny because she's like very mad. I don't care what she wear. I just want to get a dress, pay for it, and leave. I'm hungry. I want to go eat. For this list, we'll be looking at the most intense instances from the TLC reality series and its spin offs that show how bridal shopping sessions can take unexpected and outrageous turns. Which moment had your jaw on the floor? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. The opinionated pageant coach. Say yes to the dress, Atlanta. Former pageant contestant Kelly arrives at Bridals by Laurie to find her dream wedding dress. He's just brutally honest. I think the neckline, I'm almost falling asleep bored. Mm -hmm. It's very Miss USA 1993. Mm -hmm. But the pageant coach she brings along, Michael, has a different vision of what the bride should wear on her big day. He does not hold back his opinions, which favor a beauty competition style over a bridal look. Are you going to be able to choose a dress if Michael doesn't like it? Mr. Michael. You want me to call you Mr. Michael? <laughs> okay. His comments seem to crush Kelly's spirit, leaving her disheartened. In an attempt to help her regain control of her appointment, a fed-up lorry asks Michael to rein in his criticisms. Uh, Mr. Michael, maybe you can tone it down just a little bit. No, she's over 21. She can handle it, hon. Still, the bride is eventually reduced to tears, an upsetting sight on what should be a day all about her and her wishes. Number 9. A naked dress. Say yes to the dress. Not one for the purity of conventional wedding gowns, Alexis seeks a dress that will make a more risque statement. Ooh, yes, queen. I want to walk out and everyone, you know, will be shocked because I'm naked on my wedding day. Oh my god, those bows though, no thank you. Considering the form-fitting bodysuit she dons for her consultation, it's no surprise that she had a bold criterion for her wedding look. The provocative bride wants shock value above all else, requesting a naked dress that will wow her guests. Whatever, I just want crystals and flowers covering what needs to be covered. That's it? Yes. Yeah. I've never had anything like this before. This is a first for me. She makes it clear that she's experienced and is determined to let it be known in her attire. Alexis's consultant Antonella is stunned by her unique request and unapologetic personality, and we're sure viewers at home could relate. What do you think my wedding dress is gonna be? It's oh gonna be just like that. Oh my god, be forewarned, family and friends, be forewarned, anyone attending that wedding. But this is certainly one of the show's more jaw-dropping requests. Number 8. Bridesmaid bashing. Say yes to the dress. Bridesmaids. In this spin-off showcasing bridesmaid dress shopping, we're introduced to Emily, a bride who repeatedly directs mean-spirited comments towards her party. What are you looking for today? Um, I definitely want yellow. Everybody okay with the yellow? I don't want a like, big bird up there. A disagreement on dress color, pre-existing tensions, and inharmonious dynamics result in the session taking a nasty turn. It should be a fun day with her closest friends, but instead, Emily fires jabs at her bridesmaids as they try on garments. Stacy is wearing a short mustard color silk crinkle chiffon dress. No. You look like a big nacho, <laughs> like covered in cheese. She tells one friend she looks like a big nacho, another a cabbage, and rudely criticizes the bridesmaid attire her matron of honor chose for her own wedding. That's why you stuck me in that horrible dress. What did your bridesmaid's dress look like in Laura's wedding? It was bad. It was bad. It looked like my grandma's curtains. It's evident from the start that Emily is unhappy with her group and their lack of support, but her insults are widely inappropriate and uncalled for. Number 7. Body Shaming Say Yes to the Dress, Atlanta Despite displays of love and joy, Say Yes to the Dress is not without its unsettling moments. I can't believe this reaction from this family. I don't like the dress, I'm not buying it. No wonder Ronnie's hiding out in the dressing room. Body shaming is somewhat of a regular occurrence, as entourages have frequently offended brides while they try on dresses. One of the most disturbing examples is Heather's mother, who thinks her daughter hasn't lost enough weight to wear the form-fitting gown she desires. She's gonna need to lose a little bit more weight. She lost 70 pounds? How much more does mom expect her to lose? 
Like Heather's mum, Anna's sister rudely comments on her figure, and Jordan's aunt compares her thighs to those of a rugby player, while Ronnie's mum says she didn't look good in the types of dresses she likes. What don't you like about it? It comes back to the rugby thing about your thighs now. Anne-Marie! Are you mad? Are you completely insane? <laughs> Needless to say, these family members' shaming goes way too far. Number 6. An Ugly Consultation Say Yes to the Dress Atlanta Though brides are bound to receive straightforward feedback from loved ones during consultations, Stacey's mother takes her honesty to a brutal level. I've worn a dress like once in the past 20 years. <laughs> I'm surprised she even has a fiance, <laughs> the way she dresses. Before the bride even begins trying on gowns, her mum thinks it's appropriate to rudely comment on her body and style. I don't care for the blank. I don't like it. I'm getting aggravated. I'm sweating right now. It's too much it and it's too poofy. It's just gonna get ugly. It's gonna get real ugly. She even goes as far as to express her disbelief at the fact that her daughter has a fiance, considering her fashion choices. And once the bride actually shows her mother dress options, the hurtful comments keep coming. The duo can't agree on what style is best. In the end, though, Stacey winds up getting her mother's approval. Sure, the session ends with happy tears, but were the insensitive insults really necessary? Are you crying, Mama? It's very pretty, I love. <laughs> I didn't really think I would like strapless because she is so busty. Number 5. Momster. Say yes to the dress. It's never a good sign when a bride has visited over 80 shops. Lebanon, France, See? Chicago, Michigan, New York, New Jersey, California, Don't Arizona, Vegas. 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 That's why we need you guys. This is the case for Samantha, whose mother's behavior helps us understand why she has been to so many stores. Extremely difficult to please, the mum expresses disdain when Samantha tries on a gown that seems perfect. Yeah, this is no. This is the dress you liked on the mannequin. I love that dress, it's so pretty. Love that top. Yeah, not on Samantha. But what's essentially cruel is that she has no real issues with the dress itself, but rather how it looks on her daughter. She laughs and has virtually nothing nice to say, forcing the routinely professional Randy to step away from the madness. Look at her right now, she's because you're talking, what do you want to do? What do you, what do you mean? You, like, everything's a joke. Are you serious? I'm gonna be talking about your dress. Are you I have serious? to step away. Unfortunately, this isn't the only time mothers have mocked their kids. As we've come to learn, they can be the harshest critics, and Samantha's remains one of the franchise's most brutal examples. Number 4. Stealing the Show Say Yes to the Dress Atlanta. One would think the bride would be the undisputed center of attention when shopping for her big day. But my mother is also engaged. Bam! Now, are you looking for a dress? It is her day. She is the focus. But um, it's always room for two. But Chastity's mum, who happens to be engaged, isn't keen to let her daughter have her own special moment. Not only does she think about stealing a dress the bride tries, but she goes on to selfishly wear one herself. I wanted to see it on Chastity, but now I want to see it on me. If Chastity doesn't want this dress, I might just get it myself. <laughs> She does this in secret, stunning everyone when she walks out in a bridal getup. Chastity understandably can't hold back tears, making the moment equally uncomfortable and sad. As soon as I walk on this dress, I don't see my mom. She disappeared a few minutes ago. Is she coming? Is she lost? <laughs> We're just about as shocked and annoyed by the display as the robbed daughter is. Number 3. The doggy dress. Say yes to the dress. Plenty of brides with interesting visions walk through Kleinfeld's doors, but few are as unexpected as Mariah. More than willing to share the spotlight, she's on the lookout for two dream dresses, one for herself and one for her dog, Coco. So is there anything else we need to know about the wedding? Yes, Coco, we always match all the time, and so it's very important that she has a dress that matches mine, and whatever I choose looks good on her. The dog has to look as good in the dress as the bride. As the most important member of the bridal party, Coco needs a matching garment that would ensure she looks just as good as the bride. No way. No way. Annette doesn't love it. Nobody loves it. Do you want to look like a flower? Huh? No, I don't think she does. After trying on a few bold options, Mariah finds the perfect gown that would also serve as inspiration for a custom-made puppy dress. 
the unconventional twinning idea, and the consultation as a whole certainly had us entertained. Seeing my family get so emotional means so much to me because it just shows how much they love the dress, and I think that's kind of how you know that it's the one. What does Coco think? Kudos to Mariah for making sure her pup shows up in style. Number 2. The Bride in Black – Say Yes to the Dress While many brides want a classic white dress, others deviate from tradition and opt for bolder colors. This place is too big not to have a special room of black dresses. I want a black wedding dress so it can match my black little heart. Besides, who wants to be a basic bitch in white? To daringly mirror her black little heart and avoid being basic, Cami is on a mission to find a black dress. Though she cares about her mother's differing opinion, she's set on her vision. I want a white dress. You heard that? I, I want to you look, that? You're gonna look so I'm pretty in a white it. dress. Please, Camila. I'm not $300. going to the wedding then. Well, then that's $300 less for us to spend. <laughs> As Cami dons an all black ensemble, onlookers can't help reacting to the shocking attire. The aftermath of the dress reveal includes comparisons to a dead bride, disapproval, and an utterly frazzled Randy. It's a beautiful gown. I just don't see it for your wedding no. day. No. Cammy looks like a dead bride. Like we just went to a haunted house and she is the dead bride at the end of the haunted house. We don't blame him for feeling stressed, as a vocal mother on top of a unique request is a lot to handle. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The spoiled Persian princess, say yes to the dress. Persia needs Randy to find her dream Panina Torne dress. You have to find it. I can't say yes to anything until I try it on. I've asked all the consultants, but I have not asked Panina. I'm depressed. You better find the dress. We yes, came all the way good. from OC. A sporty request say yes to the dress. Melanie needs a dress suitable to wear while playing hockey. Our theme is hockey. We're playing hockey in our wedding dresses. You're playing hockey in your wedding dress. Yes. So my dress needs to be flexible for uh, that aspect. The fiancé gets the boot. Say yes to the dress Atlanta. Laurie tells Meg's beau to bounce after one too many vocal opinions. I got some bad news. What's that? Meg absolutely, positively loves this dress, so you gotta go. I think it's gonna end in disaster. A fiery client, say yes to the dress. Christine is looking for a gown that matches her wedding headpiece and won't catch fire. I know it's really important there's some like absolute musts for the dress, lame on me. Um, well, it needs to be something I can perform in. I need to be able to move in it, I need to be able to breathe fire in it, I need to make sure that it's not going to catch on fire. Vera is hit. Say yes to the dress, 10 years of yes. An angry mum gets physical during a tense fitting. I get a word that there's a, an issue down in alterations. So the lady, she got very upset and she says to me, she hit me in my head. Did she hit then you? she went, okay. yeah. Get that camera out of my face. During her daughter's fitting, an out of control mother lost her temper and hit Vera. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Cruel Entourage – Say Yes to the Dress Atlanta Entourages have proven to be tough crowds, but Alicia's party takes the cake when it comes to unwarranted bashing. I like how it makes me feel skinny, and I like the beadwork. Mom, what do you think? She doesn't look like she's been on the softball field or the basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> Upon arriving to shop, the bride appears to want to please her friends and family while also ensuring she feels beautiful in her gown. But they make things outrageously difficult. Alicia initially sports a beaming smile in a dress she likes, but the joy quickly escapes her face when her mother chimes in. Okay, maybe it was prettier on the mannequin. Sandra, please, please just don't say anything about it. Ball gowns are pretty on a lot of people, just not her. The entourage cruelly jokes about her appearance, compares her to a linebacker, and offensively laughs. Naturally, Laurie and Monty are appalled, and the bride breaks down. It looks like you're a mop. A walking mop with a head. That is a beautiful dress. <laughs> they're all having a big laugh, but they're forgetting there's a bride inside of that dress. The moment is borderline vicious, and we couldn't have been more shocked by the cruelty of those who should have been Alicia's biggest supporters. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.